on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Now, class, we have a new student joining us. In which, yes, this is where Izuku starts walking in. He sees the multitude of students who seems like fresh out of water. And that means a lot considering him. You know, school and everything, especially. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Izuku Midoriya. That is all. It is, everyone can instantly notice that Okay, something's off about him. But Nagisa being the way he is, already just tries to be a friendly person towards Izuku. Which Izuku's... Uh... Thank you? You... Uh, you are very pretty. Oh, uh, wait, what? Yes, I... I you're very pr pretty. Uh, I, um, I, I, wait, wait, I, wait, 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 what? As everyone starts laughing and chuckling in the background, Izuku's like, what's the big deal? I'm a boy. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. No way. As then Izuku just places his hand on Nagisa's chest like, Oh my god, you are. Nagisa being embarrassed and holding his chest like calling him a perv. But like, Are you sure? You know what? Forget it. I apologize. For what? Rubbing me or consider this thinking that I'm a girl? Both. Both. I'm sorry for both. I did not mean for it to be like that. I uh, honest mistake. Okay, whatever. <sighs> so this is the one we're supposed to kill, right? Is Zuku just already whips out a Glock and starts shooting? Only thing is he's quick to realize Oh, wait, that doesn't work? Ah, I admire your enthusiasm, but here's the thing. No, that doesn't work on me. If anything, there's something specifically made to kill me, which is completely harmless to you. Here, anti-me BBs and as well as the weapon that fires them and an anti-me knife. Okay. So how I know this actually works on you? Hmm. Good point. Allow me to uh, demonstrate. Him shooting off one of his tentacles, Izuku is flabbergasted. The sheer magnitude of it being pretty much spazzing the hell out. Him showing no pain. Also still having a just ridiculous, crazy ass smile. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good to know. So, these are what, as soon as you start unloading bullets or well, anti Kuro Sensei rounds. He knows this. He's already behind him. Izuku barely be able to notice the slight difference in the air as well as realizing okay this guy is a lot more huh as yeah he sees all the other students that just stuck down for cover Kuro sensei is already like there's no need to worry he wouldn't have hit any of you are you kidding as much of flailing around he was doing with that gun, as quickly as he was reacting to your look around. 
as they do see some indentions. Only thing is, is like, uh, wait, as soon as they get up back into her seats, you notice that, yeah, the indentions he made wouldn't indicate he would, they would have uh, gotten hit. So if anything, they wouldn't have lost an eye at least, or went deaf in one ear. So they're already looking at Yuzuku like, who is this guy? Then, as you can imagine, they start saying, does that have something to do with his quirk? Yuzuku doesn't like that. As he is, he is quick to anger and saying, don't you dare confuse my skills that I honed as a quirk of all things. That is an insult to me and my training and the hell I went through to get this far. Oh, well, our mistake, yes it is. <sighs> you know, I, I guess I won't be killing you anytime soon, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, it's just true, but don't worry. Yeah, and then Kazuma shows up, just bursting down the door, like, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, what? The mission is to kill him, isn't it? Yes, but you're not supposed to endanger your fellow students. I talked with you about this on the phone. Uh, yeah. What would have happened to you? I wouldn't have. You don't know for sure, as Garza says. No, he wouldn't have. If he did, I would have been able to save them easily. I mean, he was nowhere near close to beating me. He just takes out his personal challenges. He just whips out the guns again. You really want me to kill you, don't you? Oh, no. If anything, I wish I didn't have to die. But... Mm, leads of the mini. You are very smug. Well, no one can kill me. I mean, I'm not going to let you kill me, despite the danger of my existence. Oh. So, you... You're a real smug bastard, aren't you? Mm, if anything, I know you can't kill me without more training. Your, your feeble training that you underwent. As soon as about to jump course, I say, Cosmo is pretty much tackling it to the ground. Yelling, you gotta calm down. He's just trying to get to you. Hey, Dad, let me go or else I'm gonna shoot you next. What? As you can hear a pin drop, as well as Chorus is a his mouth open as wide as it possibly can go. Like, did he just say dad? Um. Yeah. You. You have kids? I have one kid. Hey, you let your son get trained by assassins? His <clears throat> grandfather. Excuse me? Yeah. Oh. What? As then they started bombarding him with so many damn questions. Like, how was it like living someone so important how tough was it at training Ashley who was his grandfather all sorts of questions that Izuku would rather not answer and yeah yeah you just couldn't get your mouth shut you just couldn't let me go so I could 
in this bastard. Look, I understand he hurt your feelings. No, it's not even that. He hurt my pride. What? You know how much hell I've been through. I mean, I wrote you every day about it. Yeah, I know. Seriously, so if someone starts knocking on my training, you know I need to retaliate. No, you don't. The retaliation is one of the last things you should ever do. I understand. Your training means a lot to you. But you gotta also understand this is what he does. He's a great teacher. If it weren't for the fact that he, you know, could uh, end us all. So. Yeah, just are used to be a teacher, and this whole thing would not be, you know, happening. But still, <sighs> fine. Okay. So let me get this straight. He's actually teaching us. Yes, as well as teaching us how to be assassins. Yes, in hopes that we kill him. Yes, this is all real. Yes, it is. Are you sure we're not in some Twilight Zone crap or something? As far as I know, we are not. Okay, that's good to know. And then he looks around and everyone's still looking all goo goo eyed, especially when it comes to the fact that, yeah, one of the biggest hard asses of these buzz kills they've ever met has kids, is married, and uh, is now the son. And, uh, his son's here too, so. Yeah, this is uh, kind of weird. So Jigu takes a seat and they begin learning. Izuku does not have any problems when it comes to overall academics. If anything, he just balances assassinations with schoolwork, as well as hero notes, as well as, well, quirk notes in general. Because he doesn't really know when one of his targets are going to be empowered in any kind of way. As well as him making plans on how to kill them, he makes plans on how to get past their quirks. Because as far as he knows, at least as far as anyone knows as well as been seen, quirks, despite how powerful they may be, still have limitations. But one person he definitely wants to learn the quirk of is a number one hero in America, Sergeant Stripes. They say she has multiple quirks. They say she has one very overpowered quirk. No one really knows. She sure as hell doesn't feel like disclosing that information as of yet. But one thing's for sure, she seems to be somewhat close to one known as All Might. Which is good actually does find one hell of a mystery. For one, at first he was diagnosed quirkless. But then suddenly he's a late bloomer and whatnot, and now he has a quirk, and now he's the number one hero in Japan. So. So there's a lot of mystery with All Might's quirk. Luckily for the world, it's actually consistent when it comes to you know, certain stripes. He has super strength. Well, very super strength. He has my power type, but still. Yeah. If anything, it's just interesting. He's a girl already knows how to 
to really take on all my different nails. One, make sure it's in a crowded area where he can't use his full potential, as well as strain his movements. He also has noticed that for some reason his hero duties have declined after a mysterious fight with a chainsaw acid villain or whatever it was called. So if anything, those are some interesting tidbits of information for Izuku to really hopefully find uh, more counters as well as, yeah, who knows, it might be very useful information. But, all in all, right now he has to worry about saving the Ostaga world. Since Kuro Sensei and well, the whole Class E are in my hero world in, in this instance, Kuro Sensei can just walk out in public. He doesn't have to hide himself, he doesn't have to do anything, but it's pretty much like, oh hi. Because due to the whole nature of quirks and they could be as weird or chat angel appearance however the hell you want yeah diverse quirks that really helps when it comes to staying incognito it's okay so you could say if anything when it comes to him actually utilizing his powers it's pretty much like what the hell what else can you do type of thing he still loves his students, even though they are trying to kill him. They, they have no choice. But Izuku, though he is nice-ish, due to his training under a very strict and very rule-oriented grandfather, he is not one to pretty much let people just into his personal, personal life. The whole thing with his dad just slipped out because he, he was getting frustrated. So yes, this Izuku has more of a hot-headed nature. One thing is he can snap out of it quicker than one known as a angry Pomeranian. Speaking of such Pomeranian, when he goes back to school, he, he's actually... Not as uh, feared as he once was. It's been he's been outed for being beaten up by Izuku, or at least lost to Izuku, someone who no one could ever suspect be strong enough, let alone able to actually get one over on him. So yeah, his reputation as one of the strongest in the school has. Uh, not only been challenged, but has been diluted. Pretty much everyone started talking shit. Especially when they remember, oh wait. Yeah. Midoriya was pretty much one of the few people to really, if anything, idolize Kasuki. If anything, he's, he probably knew Kasuki better than he knew himself. When it comes to it, use his quirk, how make it his quirk uh well personality wise uh, uh technically we all could beat Bakugo. As then they realize wait our quirks some of our quirks can actually be very useful against him. As Bakugo starts to slowly realize his class are done with his shit. He starts noticing, um, why is everyone looking at me with the evil eye, the stank eye? And this is pretty much one of the times that Bongo's life has started to take a real downward spiral. For well, one, Miski was called after the whole incident with Izuku. So, yeah, she knows that she, her son's been bullying 
the quirkless boy that was his b best friend. Not a good thing at all. Mixed with the fact that, oh, okay, so this little bitch was, uh, we're gonna break young Midoriya's heart, was he? Oh, believe me, ain't go rid of that girl, new asshole, believe me. But if anything, Misuki's more mad at Bakugo for doing something for just to get someone who used to be his best friend heartbroken and possibly mentally damaged. Seriously, what kind of person would do such a thing? Sooner or later, Bogo notices a few people following him to and from school. Usually it's just him and his three. Uh, let's say he has another little uh, crony. Yeah, they walk each other home. But Bogo is always the last one to get home all alone. So he decides, like, fuck it, who are you, what do you want? And then he knows his flames start to spout. Wind, then water. What do you want? As yes, Bakugo gets jumped. Yeah, he has a strong ass quirk. But if anything, so you're going to get under, overwhelmed by numbers as well as, yeah, think about, okay, one of them has water, chances are, our quirk won't be so useful on them. Wind, oh, that could possibly counter mine. Fire, I don't know what they can do with it. Can you control fire, they can control mine, yeah. So first thing we do is douse poor Kasuke with water. His sweat is sliding off his body before he can even spark it. So, yeah, no quirky quirk. When it comes to wind, it makes it so his sweat glands aren't producing any sweat at all. He's dry. Dry as a bone, you could say. When it comes to fire, uh, yeah, he gets a little sunburn, you could say. When he gets home, we see he's all sorts of surprised. Also, like, what happened to Izuku? Did Izuku was like, no, I, some losers just jumped me. That's all. Where are they? They ran off. Re really? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, how? Why? Uh, someone with fire. In the air, yeah, water. My craft was useless. Miski still loves her son, though she feels like this is kind of karma. Yeah, she doesn't want her son to get beat down like this. So, so what she does is pretty much walks him to school, embarrassing the hell out of him. People see that he has bruises and a black eye mixed with his eye being uh, swollen shut and they're wondering, did his mom do that? And then yes, Izuku is pretty much living his best life at class E. Bakugos, yeah, that was just the beginning of his hell, his torment. For one, when he tries to tell people that he's been bullied or at least getting jumped after school, no one believes him. Why? Because he's always been the guy that brags, talks shit about everyone, saying that his quirk is the best. So hearing that he's being assaulted, it's like, oh please. We should see the other guys. I'm sure you've done worse to them. Even the teacher, as part of the whole, yeah, due to 
through my actions not not allowing uh, Izuku Midoriya to have a comfortable school life, I'm already on thin ice. Hell, the whole school right now is on thin ice because of what I, well, what the principal at least and I have allowed here. So yeah, I I can't risk reprimanding someone who might just be retaliating against you because of something you probably started. So yeah, Bongo has no support here. He's pretty much all on his own. This is when he realized, oh my god. Is this is this what I've done to Izuku? I mean, yeah, I've I haven't been the nicest guy in the world. But, huh. Then he just like, oh my god, I'm a monster. It's bad enough, yeah, I pretty much turned my back on him. Not having a strong quirk like me, but uh, I honestly yeah, just tried to have him scarred over his girlfriend just dumping him. But she didn't even like him to begin with. <sighs> Why did I do that? Why was I so adamant of just... <sighs> what is wrong with me? Now, back to Class E, the assassination classroom, Izuku. In which, since he doesn't have much problem with academics, he passes his uh, classes and subjects with flying colors. Much to the point where he actually helps Kuro Sensei when it comes to teaching all the other students. He's who's good at his, uh, well, you know, pretty much every subject for one, considering that he can now juggle. Not only classwork, but also other very useful things. Kuro Sensei is actually happy with the fact that Izuku is uh, taking the backstab when it comes to killing him. But one thing he has noticed is that, aside from his family and what little emotion he shows during class, he doesn't really seem to have that many. Tr Rust, sting, you know, tells. He doesn't really seem to trust many people, especially wham whammon. So, Go says they actually just li just uh, decides to say, okay, I'll bite. What's wrong with you? What? Though, yes, you have seemingly opened up to a certain degree when it comes to class, something still seems a bit off with you. What do you mean? For some reason, I don't feel like you really fully trust your classmates. Um, of course I do. Really? Because if anything, they are do extend the invitation to their after school activities, you just seem to blow them off. Well, I have training. No, you do not. Wait, what? Oh, yes, I have talked with your parents. You did what? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, he said you, when you get home, you do a little light training exercise, you you just go to your room. Uh, what? What? Did my parents literally just... Well, mm, They didn't really sell you out. They just... They're concerned for you as well. At least your social life. Well, you can tell them 
my social life is another business. True, I could. And again, you don't want to be shut in, do you? I am going to be a hero, an assassin as well. Is then the whole class just inter just uh, erupts in laughter. Izuku again flashbacks, he just about to pull out a gun. And then Nagi says, So you wanna be both? Uh huh. What are you talking about? As he just uh, holsters his weapons uh, You wanna be both a hero and an assassin? How's that gonna work? Uh, I, I, um, you didn't even think about that, did you? Uh, I mean, yeah, you could possibly be, you know, a hero or an assassin, but being both seems a bit more difficult, don't you think? Uh, how? Well, think of it like this. As a hero, you're supposed to protect people no matter who they are. You know, heroes don't discriminate over who they save. But if it turns out that's your target, are you gonna which one are you gonna choose? Get in your bag or mm, being a hero? Huh? Exactly. Didn't think much about that, did you? I, uh, uh, well, I, <laughs> it's okay. If anything, we don't really know what we want to do with our lives either. Really? Of course not. We're not supposed to. Heck, if we knew what we want to do with our lives, yeah, who knows? Maybe we would try harder when it came to schoolwork before. But no, no one truly knows what they want to do with their life until later in the years. But at least you have two goals in mind, though they may seem very difficult. Yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, you're a very nice lady. <laughs> what? As Nike says, pretty much just being upset. I'm not. I. How many times I gotta tell you I'm a dude? You are? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot you. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's fine, just try to remember that I'm a guy. Okay, man, just, just, please? Uh oh. Uh. But yeah, seriously, so I, I never really thought much about it. All things considered. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But it, I, I can at least say you. You're. Uh, I'm what? You would make a a, a great assassin. What? Really? Really? You think so? Oh yeah, I know so. Seriously, assassins that can play either or gender? Whew, that is an asset. Uh, uh, what? I don't want to have to choose between being a man or being a woman. Oh. Oh, really? I mean, if anything, I'd be rooting for you either either way. But I don't even know if I want to be an assassin. I'm just doing this because I have to. Or at least 
the world needs me to. Us. Right. Yeah, I might have struck a nerve there. You think? You think? <clears throat> Sorry, but like so. But when it comes to karma being here, Izuku already knows his karma is a lot more enthusiastic, as well as being a sadist asshole at times. He doesn't know why, he doesn't know Karma's story. All he knows is like, okay, this guy, he's uh, he's got some issues that he uh, got me a little worried here. What's he, uh, what's he done to not be here for so long? But if anything... Karma is actually interested in Izuku, because unlike the rest of them, Izuku has been trained to be an assassin. Yeah, in which, yeah, he's very interested in wondering just how much does he really know about taking lives. Much to the point where Izuku actually gets kind of uncomfortable with all his questions. But he has no problem answering them. It's just the whole fact that he's very attentive and wondering, okay, so did you, have you killed anyone before? No. But how can you call yourself an assassin? <sighs> because I am an assassin. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You ain't got much in your repertoire, do you? <sighs> you just love getting on people's damn nerves, don't you? I'm going to keep my damn eye on you. As yeah, Karma is pretty much doing his best to get on Izuku's nerves. He's going to try his best not to completely annihilate Karma. Which when he does start to give in to those more violent tendencies, he finds it even more difficult to actually beat him. Or at least get one over on him. It's kind of like Karma is a genius. When he realized that he is like, damn it, no wonder. I've been treating him like an idiot. Where Sue and Larry do actually start to be cool with each other to the point where even Nagisa is happy the fact that, oh, thank you, there's no bloodshed. Most of the point where they actually pull pranks on each other. Izuku is more than happy to get one over on Karma. He may not be able to kill him, but make him look ridiculous, turning him into a complete jester is a good constellation prize. Now, when Miss Bitch, I mean uh, a very nice, <clears throat> very well endowed teacher shows up she instantly looks at his goes it's you again her tackling him to the ground hugging him squeezing him tightly as everyone else is like what the fuck is happening here and then yes Izuku is trying to get your lips off of me. I've known what those things have been. Hey, watch where you're grabbing. Pretty much. Oh, come on. You're 
come on, you're my brother, or of course I... <laughs> brother! As Zuku finally gets her to pretty much be off of him, but he's already like... You are no sister of mine. I'm... My sister will not do the things you've done to me. Let alone what you were doing right now. Just wiping the lipstick off of his cheek, as well as his lips. You know, just feeling all kinds of violated. As the boys are drooling, the girls are being pretty much jealous as all hell, considering the attention she's getting. Is Ben B. Crowley Zuku's like, is that really your sister? More like stepsister or step aunt, depending as then a bullet flies past his face, grazing him. I'm your big sister. Don't forget that, please. <coughs> Either way. Yeah. Uh, you see. My grandfather and uh, her master. Yeah. Oh, the same person. What? Yep, so we're basically family. Family does not do the thing you do to their family members. This is not damn Alabama. You're right. This is Japan. You know the, sh the shit they do here. That's so wrong. You, that is a low blow. You know you can't do that. It's like, you know I can. <laughs> believe, believe me. Just type some. Just type in something on you know what website, and you. The amount of nonsense, or at least interesting subjects, just pop up out of nowhere. What's wrong with me? Just like. <sighs> You're making this very, very uncomfortable. As then she sees Cosmo say, "Who that? Hey, you're drooling. Stop it. You're creeping everyone out." As yes, her thirstiness turns into bitchiness, and then they realize, "Oh, wait, she's trying to take our bounty." The thing is, when she tries. It's just a little the same as it would be. Yeah, she gets humiliated by Kuro Sensei. Uh, Izuku just can't stop laughing. He's like, yes, <laughs> yes, that's what you get. Oh yes, sweet, sweet karma. I love the shit. What are you talking about? You just lie with recognition on that bastard. That doesn't work on him. Oh man, that's. Yeah. I love this. I love this show. What? Nothing. But either way. <clears throat> you can only imagine the hellishness of the hell that would be, uh, you know, life given certain circumstances. Uh, what? Oh yeah, she has similar training to me. Except she moved more along the lines towards seduction in which... Yeah. Come on, show them what I taught you! What? Yeah, show, show the seduction methods I taught you! What? As in, like... They're just looking at Izuku, he's blushing. She, what she, what will she teach you? <sighs> okay, let, okay, allow me to explain myself first. Yeah, yeah, we won't hear this. I had a choice of two teachers for what, for such a training. What do you mean? It was either going to be this bitch. Or my mother. What? Yeah, 
my grandpa told me pretty much like, choose, choose, choose the bitch. What, what, why? Because, when it comes to seduction training, it has, it, it's mainly hands-on training. Or at least putting techniques into use. As the boys are breathing all heavy, their nose are bleeding. The women pretty much doing the same, but looking at the guys with more judgment, telling them to leave Izuku alone. Okay, I'll explain what he had to do. If anything, he had to get me to do a few things to pretty much... Uh, let's just say to prove that he succeeded in seduction. What's that? He had to make me blush. He had to make me swoon. And he had to make me enough, enough, enough. What? I was just going to say aroused. You were not going to say that. Okay, guilty. I was going to say something else. <laughs> As yes, so the guys are just looking at him sideways. The girls are wondering, did you, did you just pass? Izuku blushing, but this bitch is pretty much like, yes, he did. With flying colors, I could never be any more proud of my baby brother. Your step nephew, damn it! <laughs> Let me go! Let go of my arm! Please! I'm sorry, uh. What did you call me? I called you step. <laughs> I mean, older sister. Older sister, that's what, that's what I called you. So sweet. Oh, see, my baby brother is very good at seduction to a point where chances are you, all you women, and even some of you guys, huh? I don't know. You never tried these techniques on a guy, have you? No. Why not? How would you know if it truly worked if you could seduce the up? The same six. Why would I? You never know. It might come in handy. The hell it is this? He starts blushing even more, but then he knows his. Wait, what's that? Dripping on. As he sees a perverted face drooling, as well as a nosebleed start to form. Over Miss Bitch's face, and she still has him in a hold. It's, you want me to seduce a guy? <laughs> oh yes, I, I want you to use those things on a guy just to see how it works. No, 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 no. Well, come on, I taught you how to seduce. Pretty much. Both sexes. I know. As then everyone is looking at him again. Like, seriously? Um. Seriously? Uh, yeah, I. Um. You know how to seduce women and men? I, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I do. So, do you think we can see a little bit? Come on, shut the fuck up. Oh, did I strike a nerve or something? You, you know you did. I am not. It's, oh. Come on, your classmate says he wants to see it. Well, see the techniques I taught you. 
Just kill me now. Oh, I can do that, but I don't want it. Grandpa and sister, at least mom. You know exactly what you. I don't want them to kill me. So yes, get with the seduction. Fine, but I get to choose my. I choose him. As yes, she is pointing directly at Nagisa. Which I, you a real bitch, you know that. <laughs> yeah, you might say that, but I know you love me. Giving him a kiss on cheek is... He's obviously pissed. And just pushes him towards Nagisa. Nagisa is being coerced by his so-called friends and karma. I really don't want to do this. Join the club. See, so do it or else I shoot you. Pick one. Bullet or seduction. Okay, fine. And then Yuzuku starts walking towards Nagisa, but the way he walks is obviously turning some heads. As he just approaches Nagisa, he completely sweeps Nagisa off his feet. Much to the point where he's slowly about to kiss Nagisa. Everyone is unconscious. Including the eyes and Miss Bitch. Because they're like, what the hell did we just watch? As well as, we enjoyed what we saw. Because from that perspective, if you didn't know Nagisa was a trap, yeah, they would be... The guys would be taking notes right about now. So yes. Luckily, Izuku did not have to kiss Nagisa. The only thing is, his uh, pride has been wounded. And Nagisa, considering that, yeah, he's... He was a test subject for this. His pride as a man has definitely been wounded. Beyond repair, only time will tell. When it comes to the whole midterms or testing, hell, yeah, it's not difficult at all for them. Some still don't make it as high as they wanted, but having Kuro Sensei teach and tour with them, having Izuku teach and tour two of them, hell, they made the perfect team when it comes to teaching. I mean, it is just wonderful for those students. Only thing is, Yugu has long since seen the pure hatred, or at least disdain, the other students have for Class E. It makes no sense. Oh, so you think you're better than us because of blah, 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 because you're Raids are better, but we street smart, bitch. But when it comes to the whole kidnapping, people being real bastards, girl, since he does not have to jump in, no, none of the teachers do. If anything, Zuko can handle that by himself. He doesn't kill them, but he leaves them with a the reminder of, yeah, you do this again, chances are. You're not going to make it to see full on adulthood. You are not making it to old age. You are not going to make it to see your retirement come into fruition. You aren't going to be getting those, those security checks. For the way, Izuku. But, now that's whole incident is done. Let's, let's get back to one known as Kasuki Bakugo. Just like before, he gets jumped every so often. One thing is, it gets harder and harder for him to actually retaliate. Though he is trying his quirk slightly, it doesn't really do no good if he ain't waterproof or anything. Heck, if he can't sweat, chances are there ain't no explosion gonna happen. So he has no real choice but to wear very, very thick clothes. 
least thick enough so he can sweat, but no one else knows that that he's going to be able to sweat. He started bawling and collecting his sweat beforehand. One thing is, ugh, he been have to really think outside the box when it comes to him using his sweat in general. For one, he needs to ignite it, or else it's just a bottle of nitroglycerin like sweat in which it's perfectly useless as an explosive if it doesn't light. So he's had to think more like Izuku, one of the people who he knows would have so thought of something like this. In which, yeah, he's thought a lot about how he's treated Izuku hella unfair to the point where he's like, oh, this would have never happened probably if I had someone to keep me in line beforehand. Hell, if one for me being a bastard before, Maybe Midoriya will still be here. As in, now, he's walking home from school alone. He knows his assailants. He knows they got stronger thanks to them using him as a, you know, practice dummy. One thing is, he's prepared to a certain extent they think he can't use his explosions, they are in for a rude awakening. Everything, he's made bombs out of plastic containers, metal containers, depending on what he might need for when it comes to strength. As well as a, more of a, you see, he got one of those trick candles that never goes out. No matter how many times you pour water on it, how many times you blow it out. So yeah, chances are he's gonna have a spark regardless. He even carries a little, uh, you could say, squirt gun. Or super soaker, whichever one. The only thing is, he's had to make some modifications to it. He actually has been today where we used to get scrap metal as well as a nice little shop that really does help to make him a special type of gun so he can actually use it and not have to worry about the flames overpowering it. Sadly, how he got this gun and the shop he got it from yeah, it wasn't technically legal, considering, yeah, no, no one in their right mind would make such a thing for a middle school student, and still keep their shop open. So yeah, imagine, when they get there, one thing they could, could, would have possibly done but already have set traps ready for them. So, you can imagine, Bongo, he slowly starts lighting his little mini bombs, and as soon as he sees a burst of water, he throws them up in the air, distracting them long enough so he tackles them, and he takes out the super soaker and puts it straight to this guy's face. As he starts threatening them, saying, Leave me alone, or else I. Wait a minute. As then he knows is one of them. Wait. You're one of my. As he gets knocked out by the one who uses air, as he slams into the wall. The others run like hell. Bongo barely being able to pretty much focus realizes I remember you as yes he falls unconscious 
wakes up in the hospital and Mishki is both scared for him and pissed off, wondering where did you get all this stuff, how did you possibly get your hands on it, and what happened to you, yada yada yada, being an overprotected parent, but also scolding the hell out of him. As he just looks at her with a straight face and says, it's all my fault.